Hi everyone, hope you guys are fine. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am going to create a simple chat application, real-time chat application using Amazon Chime SDK. I am on AWS Samples. You can simply go to github.com and Amazon Samples and search for Amazon Chime SDK. Oh sorry. Amazon Chime SDK and we are going to use the JavaScript one. So here it is. I'm going to do everything from scratch. So let's clone the repository. In the meantime, okay, it's cloned. So let's open it in VS Code. Okay, so uh, here we don't have any package.json file, so we have to move uh, on the application. It, it contains many uh, samples, like you can see. It has uh, the Amplify demo, chat, uh, Android, iOS. We are going to use the web version. So let's go to the chat folder. Uh, CD, Amazon Chime, and then apps, and then simple chat. And just install. It is going to install the dependency so let's go to the uh, the amazon chime official documentation what they are saying mm. okay we don't have to do anything uh, everything majorly part is done by amazon chime so let's go to the apps and then chat Okay, here is the documentation related to the cha uh, Chime chat SDK. <coughs> so it is saying change the configuration file and everything will work. So let's see the configuration file. So here we are in the chat folder and it is the configuration file. So we need to update these folders. In the meantime, our dependencies are being done. So let's move forward. So what it is doing, okay, we have done this okay so uh, these are the prerequisites it is saying what the back end <coughs> behind the scene what this uh, functionality is going to do it's going to create the chat uh, user pool and everything so let me just see where i can go <laughs> okay we have another simplified version of this documentation over here okay here they are telling about in detail so what is going to happen behind the scene so i'm just going to skip this out you should read when you are creating this i've already read this okay so this uh, these are the prerequisites now let's create a setup this is going to create everything which are need for the chat application by itself so let's see i have already logged in with my account i'm going to use everything which are provided by default you can change the stack name and application name. I'm going to do everything by default. Okay, we need to acknowledge this because uh, we have done everything by default. So it is going to create our IAM role and AWS Cognito. So let's create the stack. And yeah, everything is done. It is going to create everything which are required like S3 bucket. Amazon Cognito and Amazon Lambda. So let's see what is done. Yeah, in the application is done. Let's run this by MS, uh, npm start. Okay, let's open this. It is local, locally running. That's why it is going the HTTP. When you will deploy, you will not face this. HTTP error. This is the Chrome warning. Let's see. It is still cre okay. Creation is completed. You can see it has created many things uh, like you can see SNS rule and bucket policy. So we don't have to do anything. Everything is done by itself, and we are going to see the output over here. Okay, there isn't any output. Okay, still it is in creation mode. Once it is created, we will see the output. Let's refresh this. It 
still it is in creation mode and it is also running so up till now we haven't done anything we have just cloned the repository moved we have moved to the chat app, uh, and src folder and just run this application and in the documentation we have just created a stack by clicking this launch stack button we have to wait for its completion it is still in progress by the end of this video you are going to we will have a chat application real time chat application mm, it's still creating okay the creation is completed let's see what is the output yeah you can see these are the credential i am going to delete these credential after these videos because these are sensitive so let me clone these one by one app instance arn this is my app instance arn this is my bucket name this is my pool id and this is my identity pool id and this is my user pool id to use okay i just miss pasted this this needs to be there and this needs to be there we don't have any api gateway you are right so let's just again save this we're just going to compile this let's see if we can log in or not i'm going to create an account okay it is saying username and password is invalid let's see the console warnings mm -hmm. no user pool okay let's refresh this and see if it is reloaded or not i think it is not reloading it so let me again run this let's see what it's done you can see You can see it has already created a Chime SDK application, a Chime SDK Cognitive Pool. Okay, it's reloaded. Let it be reloaded. It's being reloaded. Okay, let's create an account. Okay, you can see your registration has been set for administration. Let's go to the user pool and see if we have users. Yeah, you can see the new Farhan user is created. Go inside this and just confirm the user. Okay, so now let's sign in. Your account is activated. Again, sign in. Yeah, we have successfully signed in. Now let's create a channel. I'm going to create a public channel. Just add. Okay, we have successfully created this. Now let me create another account so that we can check whether it is working or not on real time and we will name it Wees okay you should not press enter because it is by default creating on sign in button so let's register this first okay and let's go to the cognitive pool and user yeah you can see Wees is also here 
just confirm this and we need to sign in now our account is activated and yeah we are now signed in and you can see I created the uh, pub, uh, public channel and the infotech channel is already here so let's see let me send the message from this hello this is Farhan so I have sent these messages let's join this channel okay so I've joined this channel and let's see um, and then protect you can see who is this typing and this is the message then protect great and you can see the farhan is typing and the message is there so yeah that's it we have created the real-time chat application using amazon chime javascript sdk if we uh, if we summarize everything we have done we have just cloned the repository we have cloned this repository go to app and chat and just launch uh, use this our documentation amazon Chime, Chime de documentation and then just launch this stack everything is done by itself it is going to create cognito lambda function and your s3 bucket and yeah you can check out their results their credential on this output function okay if you are using this for demo purpose make sure you delete the stake over here to ensure the extra charges okay that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye bye